All right. Finally, 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 it is here. I've been waiting on this feature. Um, I did a video a couple weeks ago. They just released this new feature called Admin Assist. And basically, it was only available for public groups. As you can see, this group is private. And they just released it for private groups. So I'm excited because, as you can see, this post has got links and it's reshared from another page. And basically, that is not good for my group engagement and my group growth. So basically, posts like these, even though it might be relevant to my group, it is going to take away from my group growth because it's from a different page and it's taking up people from my group to another page on Facebook and sometimes even out of Facebook when they click on like YouTube links to watch the video. One last time. There we go. All right. So for me, I want to have this set up in my group so that basically um, to keep spammers out, to keep fake profiles out, um, people that violate group policies, reshare content, all of this stuff is bad for a business if you're trying to grow a group. So having these filters automatically deny posts will save you a lot of time and help keep some money in your pocket because you're not spending time declining uh, group posts and things of that nature. Um, so for me, the biggest thing for me in this particular group is reshares. So people try to get traction to their Facebook page by posting links inside my group. I already have 100,000 members inside my group. I don't really need to network and try to share my content with other pages and other groups. So I'm going to decline everything that comes through with reshared content. Um, so it has a reshare from other groups and the post has a link. I'm going to apply that particular setting. So no more do I have to go in and decline posts that have those parameters. Also, I want to, let's see. I'm going to add some more things. Facebook count for monthly lists. Um, I don't let anyone inside my, my group unless they've had a Facebook account for at least three to six months. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, profanity. I'll leave that alone. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, let's see. Post has a link. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it does not have a profile picture. Post. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to decline that. I'm not worried about the characters, um, but I, certain keywords I already know people are using. Um, so these are stuff that I already know. Let's see. Bit a. That's a link shortener, but sometimes people try to mask it, so I'm going to block that as well. Anything to do with Forex because those people come into the group as well. Uh, WhatsApp. For some reason, people from overseas try to push it to a WhatsApp group. I'm not sure what that's about, but that is a common problem that I have inside of my group. <sighs> let's see and that's all I'm gonna do for right now let's see what advanced settings they got and I'm just gonna leave it at that and boom so basically I just set up two parameters it's gonna automatically decline stuff on my behalf 
Um, I can also set things as far as comments. I'm not really worried about comments to a certain degree. Um, let's see. So if a post has been reported three times, let's say somebody posted something that was um, off the wall. Um, I'm going to remove it. Let's go with harmful content. So post is reported three times or more. Uh, let's see. I want to remove the post and let me see remove the post. I want to block that particular well I'm going to mute them Let's see Oops. I'm going to mute them and tell them to just see the group rules. Post has 50 comments more in the past hour. I'm gonna delete that. I'm not worried about how many comments, but if somebody report, if somebody reports a, a post, um, then I'm gonna mute the author. That one can get tricky because sometimes people report posts um, report posts accidentally um, let me see post has been reported post commenting uh, post has past hour 100 see more options number of comments reported posts So those are the ones that I'm going to stick with. I don't want to make this video too long, but basically you can you can set up those parameters to fit your particular group. Um, for me, I kind of already know what to look out for and what I'm used to declining. So those are my settings. Your settings might be different, but at a baseline, you don't want anyone to post links in your group. You don't want anyone to reshare content. So I'm going to go through and make sure that is being done and being implemented and once I do that then I can open up the group and have people automatically post their stuff and I don't have to really monitor the group as much as I do now um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video so that is all we have for today if you want to learn more about how to grow your group and how to implement different tactics in order to grow your group maintain your group and monetize your group check out my website at howtogrowmygroup.com we have a course created just for group owners and we will help you grow your group